Thank you, my friend. It arrived safe and sound. Daily lives and routines in an indefinite state of flux. It can be hard to get up, get going. <laughs> you see here? That's where it used to be. This is where it is now. Can you see the JB well down there? You can see I, I sanded off just a little bit to give it a little more clearance, a little more squeeze. I made that as tight. There's a bolt right there. I made those two bolts as tight as I could get it into that JB weld bed. And it seems to be holding good now. Let's see if it'll climb a hill. Bill Gowdy checking in. It's been raining. <laughs> you know what? On these rainy days is the best days for me to make videos for you guys. Because I'm too busy when the sun's shining and it's nice outside. I can tell you the mushrooms are done popping. The grass is mowed. Yeah, I've still got brush to cut. Uh, and, and I'll never be done cutting brush. That's for sure. But on these rainy days, I take advantage. I make videos. I work in the shop, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm in the workshop. It rained this morning. I think they said an inch. And then uh, we're going to get up to about three to four inches by tonight. Enough of the weather. Let's get on to what I'm doing. I put a center hub on my motorized bicycle. I got this uh, kit on the internet. I don't know. I think I paid around 40 bucks. I put it on and I tightened it up. But look, that hub, that center hub slips. And as tight as I got that, and I got that lock tighted in, that fits like this. And it is tight. But you can see right there, it slipped. It slips when it starts, and then it slips when I give it gas. So it works on the spokes. Well, I gotta make it so that this doesn't work. It doesn't slip back and forth. So I made a post to a guy. Uh, uh, I'll put his link down below. I can't remember. And he said what he did is use JB Weld. He roughed that up. So I'm going to take this back off, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. But I've also been thinking about drilling a hole right in here, threading it, and putting a set screw in right into that hub. That's what I'm thinking. And, of course, the JB Weld is going to work, too. But, uh, you know, he roughed that up, put JB Weld on it, and he said he waited two days and then took it out. So those are my options. This measures just under an inch. And if you can see, that's tapered on each edge. But right on the center, if I can get this in there, it should clamp tight, which it does clamp tight, but not so tight that it won't slip. As you can see, yeah, by the paint, it's been slipping. That's the problem. We got to correct it.
Bill Gowdy out for now.